I wanted to give a huge thank you to Yiso for sponsoring this portion of the video. They were so nice enough to see me over their G1S Plus Peloton alternative bike. Basically, this is a Peloton, but for a much, much better price. This is me just unboxing it. I will say <laughs> it might take two people to unbox this. Um, it is very heavy, like very heavy, but I like that everything comes in one piece. I did call over my boyfriend so he could put this together for me because it was just too heavy for me um i could have definitely done it but having a man do it you know is just so much better so this is the app i wanted to log on give it a try i've had this for about two weeks now um you can literally get on the app and click on any type of video to get you a good workout in i decided to click on the video of the day which is this one It comes in many different languages. Obviously, I speak English, so I put it in English. This one will give you a run for your money. Like, this girl on here, she is hardcore. This was my very first day to, like, really do, like, a real, real workout. And let me just tell you, I was not ready. I need to build my stamina up, girl. But I absolutely love it. You are able to broadcast so many things on here. You can do Netflix, Hulu, music with the HDMI cord. I didn't have an HDMI cord, but I will show you kind of towards the end of this how I I actually kind of cast the music to this but it will give you a workout like this is no joke i am so excited that i have one of these this is definitely a great investment and a great peloton alternative i will say if you are shy to go to the gym scared don't want anybody looking at you this will be a very good investment to invest in to have at your house to do your own workouts in the comfort of your own home I just wanted to brag about how quiet this machine actually is. I do personally live alone, but if you do have a family at the house with you, this is very quiet. You will not interrupt anybody. If you are worried about interrupting somebody, like when the lady is on there talking, you can go into the just ride mode, which is this, or you can go into the other ride mode to where you can just look at a beautiful scenery. This is like a winter scenery. This is just somewhere in New Zealand, I believe. And the screen also, as you can see, rotates a complete 360 degrees and it tilts up and down. So that right there was just me showing you that you can cast like your own music from like Apple Music or whatever. Um, if you do have an HDMI cord, you will be able to actually watch Netflix and Hulu. This is me trying to figure out how to do that. Um, I don't know if this came with the HDMI cord or what, but I'll probably go buy one. Um, if it came with it, then I lost it. I don't have it, but you can broadcast anything on here. Absolutely love this. Thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. You so, and I like that it also comes with two little bitty weights on the back. Girl, I'm about to be up on this all day every day like <laughs> i absolutely love this don't forget to use my coupon code listen on the screen and all the links to this will be down in the description box below hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see by the title it is going to be another moving vlog it's going to be part of my moving series four episode whatever because i don't know if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so <clears throat> it is one no it's 12.59 in the afternoon, about to be one o'clock. Just took prints outside. I literally kind of been up since 7.30 this morning, lay back down and then didn't get up until 11. And then from 11, I kind of been doing my hair, um, unwrapping it from last night. And yeah, just kind of just get myself together, taking pictures, doing stuff on Instagram for the brand and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do today is, I actually need to run to my mailbox because it says I got a package from Amazon delivered on Tuesday, but I didn't get any notification or anything that it was delivered, anything. So I'm like, where my package at though? And I don't know what it is about this week, but my luck with these freaking packages has just not been it. If you know, you know. <laughs> we just gonna leave it at that so i'm about to go to my actual mailbox and see if they left because i guess it should maybe just be a small package i don't know but i didn't get like we have an amazon hub in my apartment complex and i didn't get any notification about you know a package so i'm gonna go to the mailbox see what we can um find if not then maybe someone stole my package like that's just that and then it said excuse me it said it was delivered at two 59 y'all know i got a ring doorbell so i went back and looked at my ring doorbell footage or whatever and girl nothing is on there so y'all definitely didn't deliver it to my door um if they delivered it if they delivered it to the amazon hub i would have got an email and a little barcode to scan but i didn't get any of that so 
my last resort my last resort is my mailbox sometimes they be stuffing stuff in there so i'm just gonna go check it it said it was delivered tuesday but i'm like on tuesday it said it wasn't even delivered so i don't know let me try to if i try to track it it literally says package delivered 256 don't say where nothing nothing so i don't know child like my luck this week with packages just has not been it. And I don't know what it is around the holidays with these packages. But yeah, I'm over it. So I'm about to go check in and we'll come back. And we're going to um, start working on my guest room. I'm super excited. My wallpaper is going to be delivered today. And the little wallpaper tools is going to be delivered today as well. It says by, what, 3 o'clock? Girl, now it's say, okay, the wallpaper says by 1 to 4 p.m. The little tools I need for it says by 10. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so I guess we're going to start working on my love seat when I get back. Like taking that unboxing and stuff. I want to do a TikTok as well. So we're going to try to have to figure that out. And we're just going to get my guest room together. Like we're just going to get it together. And then I also want to try to work on my bedroom one of my subscribers she um i was talking about how in my deep clean with me for vlogmas or whatever i wanted to take off my box spring so this right here is a box spring this right here is my mattress so i wanted to remove my box spring and then just have my mattress down because the bed is just supposed to have just like your mattress on there but i like to kind of sit a little bit higher so i just did it like that but i kind of wanted to see how it'll be if i put it low because obviously my tv still isn't mounted right now i explained all that in that video but she said try to take there's like the bed is sitting on like something like wood basically but it's like 30 wood pieces that i would have to Anyways, I'm going to take the wood pieces off and then stick the thing down in there, the box spring, and then the mattress. And we're going to see how that works out. So, yeah, I'm about to go to the uh, mailbox and we're going to see if my package up in there. was definitely there can't show y'all what it is because it's actually a christmas gift i don't know why they don't notify you with like a notification when it delivers to your mailbox it only notifies me when oh these are cute when uh it goes to the amazon hub oh these are cute okay so i got two gifts to wrap today um as well as putting up all of this crap so what we about to do first i need to get some stuff out of my storage
I'm not proud of it. I ain't no player, I just got a lot of faith. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Now you want to shoot me the red at the bottom, babe. You know I like when you rise at the top, babe. She wants your name, you need a yo yo. I'm only doing cash, guys. Yeah, don't need promo. I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the full form. Inside Coco. If I got a feeling, I keep it inside my heart. And I keep a penny because I don't. So I just remembered the legs are gold and y'all know gold is not my aesthetic anymore. I did go like three to four years ago in my apartments. I'm a silver girly now, especially because everything in my apartments mostly is always silver, especially with like the stainless steel appliances and stuff. I just think it looks better to just do silver all the way around, especially with when your appliances and stuff is already silver. It just looks better. Gold is just tacky when you just match them or I mean mix them. So I have some black spray paint. I wanted them to be silver, but I'm not going to the store. So I'm just gonna use this black spray paint and we're gonna spray paint these legs. And then while these are drying, I'm gonna eat real quick and then kind of straighten up and then we'll get back to it. I just wanted to know, do you know somebody named, you, you know his name. Oh yeah, definitely, I know his name. I just want to let you know that he's mine. <laughs> no, no, he's mine. So I definitely have the legs on backwards. Like this one is the right way and that one is going inward. So I got to freaking redo that one. And I think the back one is wrong too, but you can't see the back one. So I'm not even about to worry about the back. Okay, so I like my little couch. She's cute or whatever. I think this would be a really, really cute little spot to do my sit down videos like clothing hauls and stuff like that. How I gotta sit down and talk about stuff. Cute little background. I'm gonna have some stuff up on the wall. I can sit here. It's like the perfect size for me. Um, I didn't want the, now I'm glad I got this couch because the other couch that I wanted was definitely gonna be a lot longer and it definitely would have took up this whole entire space. So I like this. Definitely two people can sit right here, but for me, I'm liking it. Just for me, super cute. Um, it's not the most comfortable couch, but I mean, I'm not using a couch for comfort. It's cute. Um, it's kind of hard, but I feel like once you sit on it, it'll actually, you know, be a really nice couch to just lounge around in. But yes, I like it. She cute. And then I like that my view is right here. 
so I can take some cute little bitty aesthetically pleasing pictures right here. And then if I'm taking pictures in my vanity, the background will be this cute wallpaper in my um, couch. So I'm loving it, super cute. Um, now I'm just waiting on my wallpaper to get here. I'm gonna take a little break, drink a little bit of water, um, and probably vacuum this floor again and then clean up my mess. And then I'm gonna get to taking down this pink wallpaper because girl, we gotta get that out of here. Um, and really, I think that's all for right now until I get my wallpaper. Um, I'm trying to get a neon sign. I'll probably look on Etsy for that, but my little room is coming together. I am so glad because I really wanted to be able to actually utilize this room like for what I wanted to utilize it for. If y'all remember my moving series two, I had a two bedroom, two bath in there as well. And that room I actually used. Like I would sit down in my gray couch that I used to have in my living room in my first apartment. I would sit down on my gray couch. I would, you know, if I'm doing like a clothing haul, I'll talk about the clothes, whatever the case may be. I utilize that room. I also had my vanity set up in that um, apartment as well. And it's like, I really wanted to get this room to what I wanted to get to because like I said, I want to utilize it. I got a two bedroom, two bath for a reason, for this to be my business office, studio, um, guest, like everything. So I really wanted to start utilizing this room because I mean, obviously I'm paying for it, but I would do clothing hauls and I would just record like sit down portions of videos in my living room and in my dining room. And if y'all do content, y'all know clothing hauls are a pain in the A, okay? So I would have clothes scattered across my whole couch, the floor, my dining room. And it's like, when I'm done vlogging and like recording and stuff, sometimes it'd be like, ah, stop. Sometimes it'd be like two, three in the morning, midnight, one o'clock, and all I wanna do is just lay down and go to bed. And then it's like, I can't do that because my apartment looks crazy because from the clothing haul or whatever I'm doing, all the clothes and stuff is scattered out everywhere. So I liked in my old two bedroom, two bath. Um, it's kind of like clocking in and clocking out. Like when I open this door, I'm clocking in to go to work. When I step foot out this room and close that door, baby I'm clocking out you know like I'm done and when I would do all of my content in there in my living room and stuff it, it just begins to be too much like if you work from home and stuff you just gotta have separate spaces like I don't care what nobody said you can't do everything in one single like little room it just it would drive me crazy especially me because I can't function in no mess like if everything is everywhere it makes me want not want to do anything it just makes me depressed like I just can't I cannot so I'm super excited I'm getting this room how I want to get this room um as well as my business stuff like I completely shifted everything around so now I just gotta work on getting me a little bitty tv in here wait on that wallpaper I'm on a neon light or sign that I say AJB beauty collection on that wall over here where my bundles are that's where the new wallpaper is going to go and then I was going to put it on this side but honestly I would like to have my brand to where my bundles are so my bundles are on that side so when i'm showcasing the bundles you'll be able to see the ajb beauty collection in the back of it um and the bundles and stuff i tried to put it over here in the corner and stuff it just it's just going to go over there that's the best spot to put it right now um so yeah but i did want to put up actual pictures of me and um my friends when we did my photo shoot probably pop some pictures in right here and i wanted those pictures up in a big uh in a big picture frame to go along this wall so yeah i'm excited it feels really nice in here even bae said uh yesterday it just feels more open since i don't got my desk like dead smack in the middle of the room and that's really making me just want to come in here and just create content um making me want to edit one thing though i'm trying to wait until after christmas because i need a new computer chair because that one is not comfortable at all like when i edit sometimes i will be editing like four or five hours straight one time i edited like eight to nine hours straight taking a few breaks but you know sitting in a chair that long you're gonna need a comfortable chair so the chair that i want is on amazon for 145 dollars um I was gonna go ahead and get it for this vlog, but I did just mention it to Bay, and he was like, what chair? So he may or may not get it for me. I'm just trying to wait till Christmas because I did tell everybody that y'all can buy me whatever off of my Amazon wish list. So hopefully somebody buy me that chair for Christmas, hint, hint. 
but if not i'm going to get it literally right after christmas because that chair it has um armrests on there it got a cushion in the back it got a little spot to where you can pull out from under the chair for like a foot rest like it's really lit for only 145 dollars so now i'm pissed because the little thing that i was using says it's not going to be here until december 16th the little tools for the wallpaper because i didn't have it last time and i basically rigged up my own little system to put it up so i knew that was gonna happen now i'm scared my wallpaper not gonna be here because if it say arriving by 10 p.m nine times out of ten it ain't gonna arrive by nine i mean by 10 p.m they'll like schedule it for like the next day or so and i literally work tomorrow and friday i am off sunday but i kind of wanted to already get this video done and like uh I just hope at least my wallpaper here. If my wallpaper get here, I'm still putting it up because I mean, I did this without the tools, so it really doesn't matter. But so I'm still praying that my package get here. It's 5:49. Um, sometimes my packages do be coming like right when I'm about to go to work or right when I had left for work. Um, most times I'll be having a, I go to work at six o'clock, so sometimes they'll come at six or a little bit after. But I'm about to go ahead and try to take down this wallpaper. Um, just to already have it down because I know I'm not going to be keeping this. <sighs> I'm going to try to take it down without like a blow dryer and stuff to see how how that goes because I don't want my walls to be messed up. But I am about to put wallpaper back over it. And when I move out, honestly, my security deposit was only $150 for this apartment. So I'm pretty sure they're going to take all of that because my last apartment, my deposit was like $500 and they spent like 200 of that for miscellaneous stuff like the paint the whole paint job they said was like a hundred like fifty dollars or like i don't know so i'm just gonna go ahead and take this down right now different the one that's in my bedroom so i'm really scared to take that down because i already know that one's probably going to peel because one roll of this wallpaper from target was 30 dollars and that roll was like six dollars so like the cheap stuff don't be good and this is really coming off really really well and i thank goodness for that <laughs> than I thought it was gonna be. Like I said, this is from Target. So this wallpaper is a really, really nice quality wallpaper. And I mess up the walls. So I'm sitting at my office right now. Well, in my little office area. And it just feels a thousand times better in here. Like I promise y'all, like if y'all just want like to feel change or something, I had saw, I don't know if it was a video. It was something that I saw and it was like basically it might have been Kyle Shay talking about some like, uh, I think moving like to a new state or something like it just feels like refreshing or whatever. Or even if you can't just get up and like move to like a new apartment out of state, whatever the case may be, like just try to change your own surroundings and literally like it already just feels like a thousand times better in here. Like I feel so ready to just start just doing different content and stuff like it's just really a really, really good feeling <laughs> and I don't know how else to express it.
All right, now I don't know how I want to lay out my room. <laughs> I have my couch and stuff right here, you guys saw. It's update as well. It is um, February 2024. Um, I started recording this transformation in December of 23. So about a couple months into this. <laughs> um, I did want to do wallpaper on this wall, but I'm not actually gonna do wallpaper over here anymore. Um, I don't think I think I just want to get a neon sign that says AJB Beauty Collection over there or a Kira Janae I know I want a neon sign over there with the pompous grass coming out all of that jazz so that's what I'm going for but now since I have this new bike and stuff I was going to just keep the bike in my um guest bathroom closet in here but honestly I kind of need to be able to like get into this closet and do stuff like I'm about to throw half of them pillows away but you know I still use this closet for stuff so it's like I don't want to just keep that bike in here as well as I do actually want to use it like I don't want to just store it away in a freaking closet um so I'm trying to figure out where in this room do I want it um since I put up the vanity now I'm kind of limited um so yeah like my business stuff I can put that in the closet and like just take out what I need for packages and stuff like that. But this is like my shipping station, if you will. So I was thinking of putting the workout bike over here in this corner and then just, you know, work out and stuff over there. And with it being in this corner, I'll be able to watch. Basically, this is going to be like my TV as well. Like I can watch stream Netflix and YouTube, all of that on this. Um, when I get my HDMI cord and stuff like that because I don't actually have one <laughs> But I'll be able to like watch this like an actual TV and I think I already told John to get into the vlog This spins around a total like 360 so I'll be able to like watch this as like, you know My TV instead of buying a TV to put up there So I'm thinking of putting most of this shipping stuff in my closet put the bike over here keep the couch over here where I had it and then it's like this section over here is what's getting me um I don't want my desk against like facing the wall but I may actually have to um we'll see I'll be switching this out a lot but I do like to record my TikToks and stuff over here like when I do clothing hauls I may pop in something but this over here with the plate and everything it just looks nice with the couch over there so i literally stand right here and when i have the couch over here it, it just looks really really nice and then i do like to keep prince little bench right here so he can look outside while i'm not at home so i think i'm about to move all of this and put probably put that in the closet if if i don't put it in the closet then it will have to go like right here uh, I don't know because I don't want it to be overcrowded in here either. I don't even think that'll be enough height for that or not. Okay, so I just measured out my closet. Um, this is about 35 and a half inches tall. This will be able to fit in my closet. So I think I'm just going to move this to the closet. Um, I might keep that in here. I may move that to the closet as well or I could just put that over there. And then I'm going to put the workout bike over here in the corner so that I can actually use it because... I was gonna um I was thinking about selling this because I'm like am I really gonna use it but <laughs> I really want to get this stomach and waist back you know snatched and I think this will be a really really good workout like I see a lot of people working out on one of these so I definitely want to keep this and I kind of want to do like 30 days like at least 30 days straight or like a 30 day challenge and like I use this for a good you know 20 30 minutes a day and yeah, girl, we're gonna be snatched. So we're about to get to moving all of this crap around. First, I need to clear out my closet. When y'all, if y'all saw my vlog from Sunday, I just cleaned out my closet. Now I'm about to have to redo this again. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high. Hands up high, tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark room perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Uh, and I know you taste this a little bit. Mm, high maintenance. Uh, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. I told you that a flower bloom in the dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs, dedicated.
Dedicated to the fun sex, your natural hair and your soft skin and your big ass and that sundress. Ooh, good God, what you doing that walk for? When I see that thing. So I was trying to scoot over the rug. Girl, I don't know who I was kidding. Trying to scoot over a rug with this dang couch on there. So this little throw blanket I did get for Christmas. Um, my aunt actually gave this to me. And I'm just now about to put it on here. Because I just didn't feel like opening it. When I didn't feel like my room was like that done. If that makes sense. So I think it turned out really nice. I think I'm going to keep my room like this for a minute. As always, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. And I will talk to you lovelies in my next video. And I did just order me a new computer chair, so stay tuned for that. That'll probably be in my weekly vlog, though, coming up. So, yeah. Bye, guys.